Holy diddly doodle ding dum day dum da. I have found, well, I've not found it. Everyone's been watching and commenting on this. The most incredible love story ever. They recently posted that they're making Romeo and Juliet and people freaked out because Juliet's black. Who gives a fuck? This is what they should base Romeo and Juliet on these days. I want to see a woman with two heads, preferably her, and a man on the right who is marrying them. If you haven't seen these two ladies, there's a wonderful ladies right here. Abby and Brittany. They are two separate people people two brains they have believe it or not or so i think one of them not both one of them has married this gentleman here an ex cop an ex army man sorry he is basically getting two for one <laughs> no <laughs> she has to basically lie there with them to smooch and get it on and apparently she doesn't feel you know the um the finale or she just ignores the finale. She just pretends it's not happening and listens to it. Imagine having to sleep in bed with your sister, whether you're connected or not, whilst the other two bone. I have a few theories, a few questions I want to get to. How did this start? If you're going to tell me they met on Tinder, then I'm very intrigued how and why he picked which one he did. Did they meet? And he goes, sorry, let's put a menu between, you know, the heads so you can only speak to one at a time, suss out who you like the most and go, I choose you like you're playing Pokemon, you know what I mean? But no, that's my favorite first my first question <laughs> it just seems a bit fucking bananas everyone should be happy and i'm glad she's found happy happiness but what happens now when the other one wants to find happiness hmm? what happens then what happens when she's about to give if she's gonna give birth it's technically both their children both their pain isn't it look i'm not trying to be um rude but who controls what you know what i mean do they both have a brain what happens if one wants to go to the supermarket and the other one doesn't can the other one you know control right side the other one controls the left and they just don't move they're stationary like a pack of bricks stuck in cement they're not going anywhere or is it maybe like one's got the brain that controls them one's got the brain that thinks dude i'm just throwing ideas out there but what happens when like you know what happens if they go out and get have a few beers or a drink what happens then do they both have to drink do they both get waveled <laughs> But I'm really intrigued how they met. I want to, you know, a documentary on their love story before they inevitably get in a divorce because I don't think this is going to work out. I don't think it's possible, especially for this this woman in the middle sort of pretend. I could tell the one in the middle is not the one getting married and it's the one on the right. She's actually happy. The one in the middle is like, I really don't want to be here. I'm just going to put on a smile so I don't get put in a meme later. So she t they tweeted this, Brittany and Abby. I'll put it on the screen. Because everyone is asking, we're just going to tell you. Yes, I have sex with my husband. Yes, I go down on him which i'm not abbreviating i mean i'm not gonna unabbreviate yes my sister Brittany is there so she doesn't detach she is a full-time sister attached to her she's not able to sort of turn her off and on you know it'd be pretty cool if there was like a little switch at the back of their heads and it's like you're going off for a bit <laughs> um yes my sister and i orgasm is one the big o i don't know what that means to be honest with you but i've seen it in films and it sounds awesome when i sleep with my husband she's usually reading a book or listening to true crime podcasts so she puts the pleasure out of her mind while so while the begs vibrating shaking <laughs> You know, absolutely cascading with the motion of the ocean, the waves of the Daves. Whoever this guy, I hope his name's Dave, because that was incredible. Whenever this guy's getting it on, she has to just shut her eyes and pretend she's not getting absolutely annihilated by an ex-military man. He has lost time to make up for, don't forget. He is not dabbling in this misfit. How crazy is that, though? <laughs> yes, my sister Brittany is there. <laughs> she's there every time. Here's some, like, you know, they were originally famous. They actually were on um, Oprah Winfrey's show, you know, that woman who does that talk show. I don't know what it's called. Oprah Winfrey talks too much, probably. <laughs> And they went on that, they got famous, they had a little documentary, They some TV execs made a TV show out of them. Here's them getting their boogie on. Oh god, it must be so awkward for the other one, like, you have to feel bad. You just have to feel sorry for them, like, no way this is fun for the one on the right. Does she control both arms, or is it like, one works the right, one works the left? I really, really need to get this woman in a biology lab. You know, we need to run some tests here, we really do, because this is intriguing and I must find out more information. Like, when they kiss, who knows? Who is invited, who's friends? friends you know what i mean like is it all three friends is it you know are they technically all a threesome i think every i think he's chosen this because every day he gets to have a threesome i'm telling you now i know how men think and that's how he is thinking Brittany and Abby, the conjoined twins who starred in their own TLC reality series, are sending a message to all the online comments about Abby's marriage to husband Josh Bowling. See, they appeared in a, like, you know, reality TV show, show, keeping up with Kim Kardashian's, keeping up with the twin sisters, keeping up with the conjoined kids. <laughs>
Jesus. Just keep playing. Posting to TikTok a picture of the couple with an audio that says, This is a message to all the haters out there. If you don't like what I do, but you watch everything I'm doing, you're still a fan. Absolutely. I'm not a hater, by the way. I'm just making a video commentating on something that can only be described as something out of American Horror Story. If I showed you a picture of them and I put a bit of blood and makeup on, you would say that's some incredible CGI and that it's not real. And I don't mean that rudely. I'm sure they would say the same thing. And I hope someone makes an incredible TV show out of it. You know, like Winnie the Pooh and like the new Winnie the Pooh murders. Oh my God, I'd love it if they made like a, you know, a film or TV something about these two and they're just crazy murdering psychopaths who go around eating people or something. Oh, bro, I'd love that. And I didn't mean it rudely when I say they look like they're our American Horror Story because they don't. They don't at this current stage. But you know what I mean? If I got a bit of makeup on them, pretended, you know, shaved off one head or something like that and added a massive scar, like Scarface, you'd think, oh, what, this, what am I watching? Twins recently called out the comments in another post to TikTok on March 20. Just to interrupt, I feel like driving is a really dangerous thing to do with two people, um, you know, two brains, should we say, because it's hard enough when you've got one brain, I can't decide where am I going, where am I doing, why am I stopping doing this, left, right, up, down, yeah, oh shit, I've crashed. Imagine what it's like having two brains, bro. From Abby tied the knot with Josh, a nurse and U.S. Army veteran in 2021. The couple now resides in Minnesota, where Abby and Brittany were born and raised. The twins first gained national attention in 1996 when they appeared on the Oprah Winfrey show to share how they navigate life through their unique dynamic. Unique dynamic. That's, that's one way of putting it. I mean, Oprah Winfrey, thank you once again for giving us this absolute story to tell. I mean, are these two the only... I've never seen this in my life. I When I first saw the picture of this man and woman, this was bullshit. I said to my friend, you're a fibber dibber. You've just been photoshopped lied to. There is no way there is a person or people... You know, do they have two passports? What is the actual legality of this? Because I'm telling you now, if they get in the country and they count as two people, do they get two votes? No, this is a serious issue. Serious matters. Is Joe Biden using these two to, you know, bolster their votes. I'm just throwing it out there, son. I'm just throwing it out there, you know. And how do they decide? Are they really similar? I know twins can be similar, but they can also be quite opposite, you know. Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia are quite similar. Mexican cartel twins from Breaking Bad, they're quite similar. They're all killers. Well, you know what these two like. TLC reality show, Abby and Brittany. According to Today.com, the twins currently teach fifth grade. They teach, bro. That is just not, uh, they teach, bro. Imagine going into your class. Hello, class, I'm your teacher. It's like, where the fuck do you look? Who is speaking? You know, which one takes the class? Which one organize? You know, are they both teaching? Do they both? Yeah, serious questions here. Do they get paid double? You know, they should get paid double if they count as two people, which I'm sure they do. So they should be count as two teachers, shouldn't they? And get paid double. Abby and Brittany are decephalous conjoined twins, which means they share bloodstream in all organs below the waist. Abby controls their right arm and leg, while Brittany controls the left. Ba Holy fuck, we've got our solution. Control half the body each. Back in a 2003 documentary filmed when the girls were 16, they opened up about wanting to become moms someday. Yeah, we're gonna be moms. We haven't thought about how it's being moms is gonna work yet. We're just 16, we don't need to think about that right now. Holy shit, so they wanna be parents. Holy hell. Cannot believe what I've witnessed, what I've watched. Can you believe it, man? Seriously. I want to keep up well up to date with this. I cannot believe that this is what they do. They wanted kids from a young age. What's going to happen when they have kids? Is it both their kid? Just her kid? You know, I presume they have one vagina. You know what I mean? Like, I presume they do. I presume they do, bro. Yeah, look, like I said, this is not a, a video of bullying. This is a video of astonishment. These two women are exceptional. And it, with all due respect, I hope one day they end up in a museum. <laughs> In a nice way, though, like, you know what I mean? It's like, look at these magnificent women who destroyed stereotypes and overcame so much. I mean, what did they, have they agreed, like, half a life? You know what I mean? So she gets a husband for 30 years and she gets one for 30 years. Oh, mate, who knows? It's an absolute minefield. I've really enjoyed learning about these two individuals and it's quite fascinating. I can't wait to see them d develop. You know, if this was me, I'd be a famous TikToker by now. <gasps> Only fans, that's what they should do. Bro, I bet there's some freaks who would pay a lot of money for that. A lot of cha-chinga. But yeah, leave a like, comment, and let me know what you thought of these two women and this man. He's one freaky motherfucker.